So what changed? Is the party not aware that the man who made these promises before he became president, and even after he had become president, he re-echoed those thoughts, is still the man who is president and leader of the party? Has the party forgotten? Because I remember. So the pastor has been taking off because he speaks truth to power. You have to take him off. Is it gagging the press? I don't know. Is it gagging uh, a public opinion? I don't know. Please show me the tweets. So they will do receipts because the governor, of the, it's getting confirmed that the governor of the Bank of Ghana indeed may have said what is being attributed to him that he thinks that the demonstration to occupy the Bank of Ghana was needless or unnecessary and that the minority MPs had avenues through which they can uh, send their grievances through and that they were behaving like hooligans on the streets in that protest. 22nd July 2014, Gabi Asairo Tridaku, I think the next occupation must take place at the Bank of Ghana, specifically to petition the governor to depreciate himself entirely from the scene. I think that the next occupation must take place at the Bank of Ghana, specifically to petition the governor to depreciate himself. Our city has been so depreciated, but nobody is asking for the governor of the Bank of Ghana to go. Hashtag Occupy BOG, hashtag Occupy Central Bank, hashtag Sack Wampa. This was under Wampa. What was the exchange rate at the time? Was it three cities, four cities, there about? And we had cause to say somebody should be sacked. What is the exchange rate now? 12 cities, 11 cities, 50 pesos per dollar. Will we get the same tweet? I don't know. Show me the other, other, other receipt. There's another receipt. Dear President Muhammad, this is from Kojo Upon Kroma, 25th September, 2014. Dear President Mahama, where there is a will, there is a way. If indeed we are committed to saving money on the multiple registration exercises, we ought not to sit silently or make occasional speeches as the NIA gets ready to spend an extra 115 US dollars. Uh, 150 million US dollars on new registration cards. Mr. President, take the bold steps, lead the necessary legal reforms and executive instructions that ensure that the EC, the NIA, and Beth and Death Registry will henceforth have a common register. We can't keep allowing such duplicated spends only to run to the IMF to ask for help. It sounds like we are running in circles. Down. KJ. With the benefit of power, Seven years on, have we been able to achieve this? Brilliant idea from a brilliant young man. Have we been able to achieve it? Show me the next receipt. Gabi Asario Tridaku, June 22, July 22, 2014. He says, I gave one of my very rare radio interviews last week, contributing to the finance minister's mid-year budget review. And I made the point that the reshuffle that took place will mean nothing that the man must go. The man that must go is Wampa. That's the governor of the Bank of Ghana at the time. Any central bank boss who brings in measures against popular advice, listen, any central bank boss who brings in measures against popular advice to resolve a crisis and those measures end up wetting the crisis as warned by all of us, one only to be forced by his own folly to backtrack half-heartedly, has lost the authority to determine monetary policy for us. He is bad for the city, bad for business, bad for the average Ghanaian, bad for the economy, and bad for Ghana. He must do the city a favor and go. Time to spend more time with your family to pave way for a more competent person to spend time on the city. And at the time, I'm telling you, the city and to the dollar ratio was not even up to five cities. Today, we have gone past 11 cities, 12 cities. Let's, let's see what he thinks today. Today, he says Ghana is an interesting country. Same person who, he has not died. 
he lives. And we have heard that and, and from Frimpon Boating and from uh, Martin Amidu and from many other people that he doesn't serve in government. But mention the PDS deal, you find him. Mention the Japa deal, you will find him. Mention Galamse scandal, you find him. Mention every making calls, big calls. He doesn't serve in government. Today, this is what he thinks. He says, Ghana is an interesting country. All across the world, the economic crisis of the last couple of years has seen central banks stepping in to do what is necessary, even if not orthodox. So he's talking about the printing of money on the blind side, supporting government to be reckless, to borrow unnecessarily for the lender of last resort to be insolvent and the other, all those things. To use millions to do car repair. He's talking about those things. Now, he says, even not, if not orthodox, under a very difficult situation to rescue national economies, except in Ghana, where parliamentarians, including economists, lead a protest to bastardize a governor and his team who should rather be commended for exhibiting the highest sense of duty and patriotism. We are too eager to overwallow in negativism as a positive way of showing love for the country. Hey, Nipaya Cobra. Nipaya Cobra. Nipaya Cobra. Nipaya Cobra. Dread. 2014. Kojo Ponkruma, Gabi Otredaku, and 2023. You see the disparity in the thought pattern when the city was relatively doing well. The city now is, uh, it, the city is it, it, Pakistan. It, it, the comparison of our, the strength of our city to the major currencies in the world, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. He says that even if things are done, in, in, at the time when he was asking for the head of uh, Governor Wampa, things were being done in the orthodox manner. For the first time in the history of the central bank, we have had a whole side in parliament, civil society organizations, match up to say we are protesting how you have mismanaged things at the Bank of Ghana. And he says we are an interesting country. We are wallowing in negativism. And that is why the governor of the Bank of Ghana will say that the MPs are behaving like hooligans. Well, the MPs have said notice that they will show the governor and the nation and the police and the government how hooligans behave. That those, uh, what do you call it, uh, concessions that they made, oh, don't go through here, don't go to it. Hooligans will listen to you. So they will show how hooligans behave. Let's, let's move away from this. But remember that Nipa, Nipa ya Cobra. Nipa ya Cobra. Let's, let's talk about one million one constituency. I put together a set of videos. Please play the videos for me. Yes, just play. We have a lot of money in Ghana for development, but the money doesn't get to the village. The money stays up there, and you don't know what happens. You hear it has gone to Dubai, or you hear it has gone to Burkina Faso. You don't see the money. Now we have to change how we manage our development budget. So, starting in 2017 in Japan, starting in 2017, we are going to take 20% of our development budget, $275 million, and share it for every constituency in Ghana. And it is not like we are going to work for the money. So this is not an empty promise. The money is already there. In the first two years of an MPP and administration, under this infrastructure for poverty eradication program, where every constituency will get one million dollars every year for rural and deprived communities. Under this program, there should be no village or community in Ghana after the first two years that would have a water problem or a toilet problem. There should be no village or community. And we all know about this one million dollars to a constituency. So when he had the opportunity to be the president, it was one of his first priorities to make sure that the first budget we allocate funds to make sure that we do the implementation so this money basically is to 
help do development at the constituency level. We're not saying there are no developments. They are, but when you look at the rate of development, the president and the vice thing, when this one million per constituency is also there, it will faster more of the okay. development than any other work. So this money is to be used for developmental works. And also, through this money, the government thinks, or His Excellency thinks, we can eradicate poverty, okay. even if not totally, but at least we can minimize it at a certain level. Okay. Many others. In 2017, not a single project was carried in any of the 275 constituencies. And someone will say, ah, where are you getting this information? You know they have to report through their budget every year to Parliament. And just because of time, that I will not be able to maybe project almost all the, the tables for you to see the sources. But I'll just tell you that if you go and take the budget of 2018, that reports on 2017, and you take budget of 2019, that reports the activities of 2018, in that order, you will get the trend. In 2018 and 19, they did very little. They did very, very little in terms of projects across the country. Uh, as, as a party, I am sure that this meeting could not go on at the party's office because of how dilapidated the place is. We have on record that there was an agreement in the party, by the party, that the one million per constituency that was going to be disbursed, the party was supposed to have. The chairman received 20% of that amount purposely to do party business, specifically to deal with uh, police station officers, constituency officers, and retail officers. We are, uh, by this press conference, calling upon Chairman Untumi to disclose the whereabouts of that money. Because that money is party money. We were expected to have used it. In fact, if the money was used, probably would have had an edifice where this press conference would have taken place. So that is the first question we are asking Chairman Untu in reaction to his press statement. Why the office, the campaign office of the vice president, and where is the money that was given to him to use to develop our party? The so this was Mr. Kusi, who speaks for uh, Kennedy Japan. Before him was Muntaka Mohammed, uh, Muntaka Mubarak, sorry. Before him was Hawa Kumsing, Minister for Special Initiatives, who was put in charge of the $1 million, uh, $1 million per constituency. Before that was Dr. Baumia, eh? and, 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 and on and on and on. Has your constituency received $1 million? Have you seen $1 million? Mr. Kusi is telling us that the $1 million eh, per constituency, so let's assume that it's just a shanty region, almost 50 constituencies, that is almost 50 million U.S. dollars, given out, and 20% of 50 million U.S. dollars. We were told it was going to alleviate poverty, there's not going to be a toilet and water problem in two years when we start this disbursement, we're going to get everything fixed out. Now, 20% of almost 50 million U.S. dollars is supposed to be given to the party. Now, the question is, is that the only party in the region? So if you don't belong to the NPP, he said it. I didn't put a gun to his head to say it. 20% of national cake that was baked and we were all made to be under the impression that was going to be for all our sakes. 20% have already be, has already been given to a party. And now they're asking the party chairman to come and account for it. It was the same campaign team. Wound to me, put that Ahmed Swale's photo up for me. Same campaign team. Where well, Wound to me was talking about Meda, as if it's chips. We are picking chips at a, what do you call it, a, a funeral or an engagement or wedding. We're talking about the death of Ahmed Swale. And then uh, Kennedy Japan says, let's go and ask Baumia. He's the chairman of the police council. And then they said, uh, Wuntumi says, if you threaten me again, well, if you threaten me again, I will show how you murdered Ahmed Swale, blah, 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 and all of those ones. We are talking about the death of somebody. We are talking about murder. 
And he said, oh, Kofi says Ama did it. Ama says Kofi did it. Kofi says Ama did it. Ama said Kofi did it. And Ghana police, they are watching. Because their hands are in their mouths. They are watching. Let it be Six Tooth and Johnny Hughes who discuss the murder of Ahmed Swale and say, Six Tooth, you killed Ahmed Swale. Ahmed, uh, Six Tooth says, Johnny, you killed Ahmed Swale. Ghana police, Dan Paris, will send people for us. Today, 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 today. Today, 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 today. Both of them have come. The tapes are there. Both of them have not been invited by the police. The police has shamefully not issued a statement to that effect. And the poor man's family still doesn't have closure to the matter. To the, uh, put Amir Swale's picture for me, up for me. What was he investigating? Corruption. Same corruption that the government said they will fight. Same corruption that has been mentioned here. That 20% of 1 million per constituency. So maybe your regional chairman in Greater Accra your regional chairman in the Bono region, your regional chairman in the Savannah region, got 20% of the 1 million per constituency. That was supposed to build the toilet, the school. That was supposed to fix the road, borehole. That was supposed to give soft loan to market women, etc. All of those 20% was given to the party. Same thing happened in the COVID fund. Felicity Tate, Northern Regional uh, 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 Chairman of the MPP, she said that, she was given 100,000 cities of COVID money. The party has not had the dignity to respond to that. Water is life. Water gives life. Water moves through nature in a never-ending cycle. Observe the beauty of water as it flows all around us, refreshing and restoring. Gaze in wonder at the stillness and beauty of nature. There's a harmony in nature everywhere around. Water revitalizes the body and keeps you going strong. Water is life. Water gives life. Drink awake purified drinking water. One for life. So relax and unwind. And in the calmness of nature, find the rest you desire. For every bottle of awake you buy, an amount to be donated to the National Cardiothoracic Center. This advert is said here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to demonstrate to you the superior properties of Flamingo paint as compared to other paint brands on the market. We take equal quantities of Flamingo paint and this ordinary paint. We then dilute them.